I'm, I am beginning to break out of a limbo, that limbo being no longer finding creating through action to be attractive and yet not quite believing in the process of thought to create. Before you go further, we want to insert something and that sure. is we are never at all trying to talk you out of action. But if you tend to your grid deliberately first, then the inspired action is just so satisfying. Action that comes from a vibrational equivalency is action that is life giving and fun and uplifting to those who are witnessing it action that is offered in an effort to fill in the grid isn't okay. so action is a wonderful thing provided you've tended to the grid first right I, I would I meant like more bang it out sort of action well, like that doesn't no value because that's that. how I live my life mostly but sometimes now. you gotta sometimes you are where you are you are where you are and sometimes the action is required and sometimes you got to act even before you get your grid where you want it but just know that you're acting before you've got your grid where you want it so that the results that you're getting make sense to you and then when you come out of the fog do the work that matters and it will get better and better and better for you okay all right um, so in order to try to tip that belief from I have to do action versus the power of thought I've been practicing give us an example where you have to do an action and you don't have time to clean up your grid first I don't want to get a job I want money to flow in without any action I want to so be all right so so wealthy do you have do you, so do you have plenty of money to carry you for a while I did do you do you <laughs> do you have plenty of money to carry you for a while um, not plenty so you don't have a lot of leeway in this so how long do you think it's yeah but I've been working on this for so long well though, you're that, clearly okay. not doing it the right way okay. that was the next question that we were going to ask you how long do you think it would take you to bring the vibration of your grid up to the level of your vortex how much time are we talking about not long but I have how about 10 minutes of concentration to bring yourself into vibrational alignment with your vortex yes I could do that so our question to you is do you need to get a job in the next 10 minutes no so so you've got time then you've Unless got you time. want to hire me you've Sorry, got go you're you, 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 where okay. you are where you are now you you're not employable okay Wow <laughs> I, re I really asked for it okay I got it okay you're not a vibrational match to what we're looking for okay. we're looking for someone tuned in tapped in turned on okay someone who has done the grid work so it's going to take at least 10 minutes before okay. you're hireable okay Got before it. the grid begins to fill in so do you accept that it is as simple as bringing your grid the vibration of where you stand right now up to speed with your vortex do you understand that it is that simple I, I, I under, I've experienced that emotionally, but I still that, think you, that feeling think that good you, isn't enough. You, you know, we have enjoyed this interaction oh, immensely. Really? Are you gonna, oh, Not really, oh. but we just want to get your attention because, because, because until you accept that premise, you've got nowhere to go. Until you accept that is a vibrational work that you've got to do, period. You do the vibrational work and every single desire that you have will start filling in and filling in fast you don't do the vibrational work you keep repeating the patterns that you've got going nothing can change in your experience you've got to change the vibrational frequency so we'll ask you some questions that will make that easier for you do you accept that you are a vibrational being yes do you believe that law of attraction is responding to your vibration yes do you think that you have some measure of control over the vibration that you're offering yes do you think that you've got some beliefs that are hindering yes do you think you've got some beliefs that are helping yes do you think you have the ability to emphasize the helpful ones yes while you diminish the unhelpful ones yes do you think that there is a way within you to feel the difference between what you're doing yes do you think your emotions let you know yes so if you get on a train of thought that feels good to you is it helpful it makes me feel good so we'll start again okay do you believe that you are a vibrational being yes do you believe that you live in a vibrational universe yes. do you believe that law of attraction is responding to your vibration yes do you believe that your vibration equals your point of attraction yes do you believe that you have some measure of control over what your vibrational offering is yes do you believe that the thoughts that you think and the way you feel are connected yes do you believe that when you think a good feeling thought that it means that you're offering a vibration that's more a vibrational match to what's in your vortex yes do you believe that you have the ability to think more thoughts that feel good yes do you believe that 
as you are thinking a thought that you can tell whether you're on a track of it helping or hindering yes you believe that you have the ability to stop in the middle of your awareness of a hindering thought yes do you believe that with practice it will get easier definitely do you believe that by starting with the easiest of those thoughts is the best way to go about it okay I could do that yes we'll start again do you believe that you are a vibrational being yes do you believe that the universe is responding to your vibration yes do you believe that law of attraction is responding to the vibration that you're offering yes do you believe that you can tell by the way you feel whether you're offering a helpful vibration or a not helpful vibration yes do you believe that in the awareness that you're offering an unhelpful vibration that you have the ability to at least stop in the offering of it and reach for something that feels a little better yes do you believe that you have the ability to discern a better feeling thought from a not very yes. good thought? do you believe that the more you do it the more discerning you will be yes do you believe that the universe will respond to your better feeling thought with evidence yes do you believe that it's going to get easier and easier in yes. order to do this do you believe that your grid which equals your point of attraction is everything and the only thing that is really important to you right here and now yes Let's start again do you believe that you are a vibrational being this is the way we would do the work we would continue to start with the premises that we are certain about and we would continue to move forward and ask the question in a way that we can finally say yes 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 without any contradiction within us in other words we know that you don't think that you are quite ready to give this vibrational approach your undivided attention and we understand that because in truth it would be better if you would get a job to soothe your financial concerns you would be less contradictory in your vibration if you were not worried about money okay. so if you could build a bridge that says this is a temporary thing that I'm doing in order to hold myself in a place that I can keep my promises to my creditors and that I can satisfy myself with the things that I want and that more and more a satisfying way for money to flow will come to me because if, if you stand in a place where you say I want more money but I'm unwilling to do the action things that I know that bring money now it isn't the action or the non-action it's the contradiction in the energy I want this but I'm not willing but when you say I want this and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to come into alignment to get what I want there's a helpfulness in that willingness but then you say but I'm contradicting myself because Abraham you're teaching me that I can do this through the power of thought and we tried to clear that up with you in the first moment that you said that we're not teaching you that action is not part of it we're teaching you that action isn't the most important part of it that the alignment is and that it's possible for you to come into alignment so that the action that is then required of you by the filling of the vortex into the grid is action that you will be really thrilled in the offering of there isn't one of you who doesn't want to act you do you want to act and there isn't one of you who wouldn't revel in inspired action over required action they are very different actions but if you don't take the time to do the grid work the inspired action doesn't come and when it's required action required action required action you get burned out really really fast yes. But when it's inspired action then you can't stay up long enough and you can't get up early enough and you can't talk about it enough you see when it's inspired action the whole of the universe is flowing with you into this poignant moment most humans do not allow themselves the feeling of standing in a moment in time focused upon something that they care about having cleaned up their vibration so that the energy that creates worlds is flowing through them in this moment so that every intelligent consciousness that knows anything about what you're talking about or thinking about or engaging about is flowing with you and through you in that moment that is co-creation at its best you see but you got to line up with that energy and you got to know when you're not lined up with it and know when you are lined up with it and then just keep leaning toward the lined up with it until after a while it becomes really easy you can tell you can tell the offness of something almost instantaneously there are a couple of things that we want to ask of you you were really good by the way your answers were in keeping with the vibration you were not saying one thing and meaning another so we want to follow that trend just a little bit and ask a few more things of you do you believe that there is value in contrast yes do you believe that out of the contrast will come greater clarity yes and that that greater clarity is easily satisfied once you do the grid work 
Yes. Now the easily is the part that you were uh, stumbling over just a little bit. Yeah. But do you believe now? Does it feel easier to you now than it did just a little bit ago? Yes. Does it feel to you that you've come into resonance with understanding your own power? Yes. And can you relax a little bit as you stand in contrast right now without money flowing in in the way that you want it to? Can you embrace that as a good thing, not a bad thing? Yes. Can you let this moment in time not feel like struggle, but feel like clarity? Most Be of the time. Because, but yeah. this moment in time. Oh, yes. This moment. In, yes. Because if this moment in time with this contrasting experience, if you can stop beating up on yourself because you didn't get it right, the first crack out of the box. If it instead you can say, oh, this didn't go the way I wanted it to, but it's all right because I'm still standing here evaluating contrast. That's the piece that we're wanting you to find in this. So often as you listen to us for a while, and you want to be deliberate creators and you want to do the grid work and you tried to get in the vortex and you're trying to pay attention to the way you feel and you're making an effort to be more the person that you want to be and then when something that you thought you wanted doesn't turn out right now the way you wanted it to then that second guessing starts happening then you start asking yourself what did I do wrong and if instead you can say I didn't do anything wrong this contrast is part of what's right this contrast is part of the clarifying thing It's part of the clarification that is helping me to identify more clearly what it is I do want if we could just convince you that you want a creative plethora of opportunities to pull from you don't want limited ones and the contrast is just filling in the colors and the textures and the opportunities you see if we could zap you with something and of course we can't but we can know it so strongly that as you're willing to listen to us for a while you will begin to get it you are in a really really good place you're asking really really good questions your desire is really focused in a strong way and this conversation that we've had which was solely offered to soothe any angst you have about being in a wrong place that's what every process that we've ever offered has always been about to soothe your angst about any wrongness that you've done because you're not doing anything wrong by standing in a place you don't want to stand in when you're standing in a place you don't want to stand in you're firing off rockets that are going to serve you and if you can revel in the contrast and appreciate the variety instead of condemning your lack of wisdom to be in a better place right here and right now Oh, if we could parade before you just the masters that you have revered as a culture every one of them would tell you I wouldn't give up one miserable moment because every one of them helped me become who I ultimately am okay good time for a segment thank of you very much thank you <laughs> <laughs>